All right, guys, so Bill Cavins just did a video uh, discussing this worst dealership ever. Was CJ on 32 has got kicked out of a dealership. Uh, he had his take on it. I agree with some things, don't agree with that other things. I wanted to give my take on it, so let's get into it. He said, uh-uh. Yeah. <laughs> no, man, but in 4K. Yeah, in 4K. In 4K, right. my man. Right. Your ass is officially fired. All right, so. Nah, let's go get this deal, though, because... I'm gonna have to ride a little bit to go get the money, so. That's fine. Yeah. Well, he'll probably come down to top it up with. All right, so watch this. They're they're talking to this guy. They're gonna go talk to another guy, and the video cuts out. They've been recording the entire time, so that's what's confusing to me because this is 42 minutes in. Uh, it pretty much starts when they get to the dealership, which is, uh, you know, right towards the beginning. It's uh like around a minute and a half minute and 50 seconds or so. And so they're recording for 41 minutes here, and this is the only time it cuts out. My question is, why does it cut out? But let's see. What you see, what you're trying to accomplish. All right, All right guys, we're going to go on the inside, man, see what they're talking about. I'm going to keep y'all posted. Y'all already know, man. We're just trying to get straight to business today. We came in here. We was, I'm ready to buy the car. Uh, speed up a little bit. It's 125. So we go in the back, and this dude acting like he's selling a Demon 170 or something, right? He act like he's selling a Demon 170. Talking about all our, these cars hard to get. We can't get this car. The the markups. This 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 and this and this. So this guy over here started talking to him. Yeah, I mean, I just feel like he was coming off really like really cocky, like he was this, off telling real us. Cocky, yeah, like, like CJ don't really need this car. He wants a car. Liv wants a car. But I was just letting him know, like, bro, just give us a deal because he was trying to act like he can't do nothing. Yeah, like he then can't all take sudden, all, he this can't all this other stuff. All this other stuff. He's like, all right, let me let me try to do something. When at first it was nothing, and then it's like, all right, bro. See, now that, that's where the video cut out when they come out. Now, again, they've been uh, filming for over 42 minutes or about 42 minutes or so they've been filming. And, like, why didn't they show that part? Why, maybe the guy didn't want to be recorded when he was in there. Like, that's a reason, I guess. But, uh, you know, they could have recorded up to that. So they just cut everything out of that. So, um you know, let's uh, continue. So, um, you know, it's gonna go. This is gonna go on YouTube. He took it as I'm threatening him. I just said this is gonna go on YouTube. We're gonna do. A, we're doing a YouTube vlog. Yeah. So, so check it out. So, go, so right any here. anyway, guys, like I was saying, um, I came to buy a car, and Marty ain't got nothing to do with me buying the car. Okay, but he, I'm gonna tell he, you. He, I'm he, gonna he, tell your group. Okay, hey, tell him. No, you, uh, the, the bottom line is I came to buy a car. Disrespect but the dealership. Did I, so I'm asking did, you. Did, did, I, did I disrespect you? Yes, you did. I did. What I say to disrespect you? What What did I say to disrespect you? What did I say to disrespect you? I don't care. Go call them. All right, now that was totally unnecessary right there. Like, I'm trying to give a fair overview here, and him threatening to call the police, like, he didn't even, there wasn't even an altercation. Like, they could have talked it out. Like, this guy just ruined a sale. Um, so I, I completely agree with CJ on that one, because CJ did another video thereafter and talked about it um, a little bit. Uh, went to another dealership, bought the car. So he had, obviously, he had the full intention of buying a car. Um, that's not... There's no doubt there. He has a lot of cars. He has a lot of nice cars. He went to another dealership, bought a car. So this guy completely ruined the sale, lost his commission on it. Um, I don't know why he acted like that. I mean, apparently he was offended or something, but uh, there's no way they couldn't have just kind of like at least tried to hash it out. You know, I don't know what happened off camera, but they could have tried to hash it out. And for this guy to say that he's going to go call the police uh, after, that's kind of screwed up. Like, I just, I don't understand why... Uh, there was a very minimal interaction there where he's telling them to leave and you know then he's going to call the police there wasn't even like a a thing where they're just refusing to leave or whatever and they're causing trouble um i don't see cj as like uh you know i don't watch a lot of his stuff but i watch some of it here and there and i don't see him as like starting to get aggressive or anything and causing damage or like i don't i don't i haven't seen that and when i did the previous investigations on him he, you know that i never saw anything like that um, so I don't think there's any reason to immediately threaten to call the police. That's kind of screwed up, but let's continue. You're going to lose your job after this video. Hey guys, right here at Vanguard in Arlington. I can't wait to show this to my millions of people, boy. This guy, Uncle Tom, it ain't even your dealership. Call the police. <laughs> <Dead ass. laughs> this guy here is so lame, bro. Oh my God, bro. He lame. I, I ain't even say nothing to the man, bro. Man. Like. Yeah, He's no. taking it out on you over me. Um, I know. That's crazy. Uh, man, he can do what he want to do. Now I'm going to go down here and holler at my boy yeah, over I'm here and tell him. Uh, yeah, man, this dude right here, he can call the police. He can do what he want to do, guys. Y'all already know, man. This this was the cockiest, ignorant Kia dealership I ever met in my life, bro. So, no, he was just too, uh, he was too cocky. Too cocky, too bro. Too confident, like, yeah. we, was, we ain't 
this, this, and this, and this, and this. We ain't gonna no get these, like, we bro. Have no like, value in his eye. Yeah, like. <laughs> what's up, bro? See, they all they don't act like you. So it's like, man, call the police. Do what you want to do. I'm gonna stay here. All right, so we're gonna. Uh -oh, so the right. police come too. Ain't nobody. All right, so now on this end, legally speaking, it's a private law. It's a private property. Anyone in the building can ask them to leave. Um, again, I don't think that's the best decision. I think they should have tried to hash it out a little bit. Or maybe the guy said, look, I, I felt dis disrespected over this. But, you know, I maybe I react a little harshly. Let's try to work it. Like, there could have been something there. But, uh, again, we don't know what happened off camera. They shut down the camera. They cut that out. So we don't know what happened there. Um, but, uh, you know, it is up to CJ at this point. Or rather, the, the business can ask him to leave. And he has to leave the grounds. Now, if he wanted to wait for the police, he could have done that on the curb or something but it is private property so they do have the right to ask him to leave and he has to leave that's just you know whether you like it or not that's just how it is so uh let's speed up until the police get there which they actually come pretty quickly they might have been like right around the corner or something but um let's uh yeah hold on a second let's uh speed up to when the police get here uh maybe it's not that fast but uh let's see here i know it was within 10 minutes so all right so, police are there. He's like, oh, I think it's a threat. How you doing? I'm like, okay, so we're like, he's like, I'll be right back. He comes back. He says, I don't want to do no deal with you guys. It's okay. You guys can leave. I'm the one that was buying the car. I ain't say nothing. You know, it's a little weird because I don't know if he came over, the police officer asked him to come over, or, uh, you know, um, CJ came over and, or, yeah, I mean, obviously he came over, but. Uh, it's a little weird that he's standing right there because usually, you know, he's to the side and they're separated and the police talk to him and then they come over and speak to him and, you know, go back and forth. So it's a little weird that he's just kind of sitting there looking. To him, but let's make a deal. Like, I got 18 cars, bro. I got, how many Lamborghinis I got? Three Lamborghinis. Lamborghinis. Boy, I got all type of shit. So, like, I'm coming here trying to buy a car, tripping for all nothing. All I want to do is buy a car. Now I'm going to hit you. I'm going to hit you in your pockets. I'm going to hit you where it hurt he with this video. You're going to see. Look me up on YouTube and then you're going to see. We're going to leave. We're going to leave. There's no problem. He don't want to sell us a car. I just wanted to buy my girl a car. It's cool. I didn't, I didn't, but I didn't, I didn't, I didn't say nothing. It wasn't even, I didn't say nothing. I'm buying the car, not him. Okay. I got y'all. Uh, yeah, yep, yep, yep. Yep. Oh, you're going to feel this tomorrow. I guarantee you. You're going to love this. Yeah, you're going to love it. All the reviews. I told you. Make sure you check me out. Oh, we live down here. We back and forth. Oh, we rich niggas, so we, you know we got a couple places we, we rest our head. All right, so the cop was cool. This cop, at least, you know, de-escalating. And, I mean, it wasn't really a lot to de-escalate. Everyone seemed pretty calm. But, um, you know, the cop seems cool about it. I like the little uh, little off topic. I like the little um, cam there. It looks like uh, right in his vest. It's, um, you know, not that apparent. Yeah, he ain't want to sell, sell us a car. So I wonder, I wonder when, I wonder when the one star reviews come in tomorrow, and when management actually see all these millions of people that follow me on YouTube. But you see, this is what I don't like. This is, uh, you know, talking about like, you know, if CJ wants to give a bad review, Martin Meyer wants to, whatever, that's fine. But you know, soliciting or encouraging people to go in and just basically engage in cancel culture. Like this was CJ's deal with him. They were there. Like, uh, you know, why have other people go in? just to get this guy canceled. Like, do your thing and complain to Key if you want. Complain to management or well, probably management, but explain uh, to like corporate or whatever. Um, you know, but to get everyone else uh, going and have them make false reviews on the business, that's kind of shitty in my opinion. To Instagram and Facebook, when they drop these one-star reviews and we got your name too, uh, I, wonder, I wonder how the owner gonna feel. Here you go, sir. He, he calmed down now, but I got him on camera rushing out of there acting crazy too. So, yep. yep. Came out here aggressive yep. Our faces. Yeah. Oh, I mean, we left out. So, what, what was it talking about? I, I don't really think. I, I think that was kind of an exaggeration. I don't really think that he came out aggressive in their faces. Like, he came out and, you know, there was tension there, but he wasn't in their faces. And, uh, uh, you know, CJ told him to go ahead and say his piece. We, we walked out. Well, and, and now you got and now you got the cops here. Exactly. This, this not, you don't even own this business, man. Get your ass back in there and work, bro. No, he doesn't have to own the business. I mean, he, a janitor could ask someone to leave. That's how it is with businesses and private property. <sighs> got a little it's crazy hard trip. over a car, bro. Yeah. Yes, you was. Yes, you was. Yes, you was, bro. Thank you. All right, man. All right. All right. Take care, bro. Hey, look. I'm gonna I'm I'm need you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and check this video out tomorrow. Yeah. CJ on 32. Look at look at all my cool cars, all my Lamborghinis, my McLarens and shit. I don't got a business card, but yeah. Yeah. You can see, look up CJ on 32, man. Yeah.
that's such a weird comment. You got a business card? Like, this dude over here, he's like, you know, you know, he's he's like, all right, cool, you know, maybe I'll look you up or whatever. This guy's like, you got a business card? Like, <laughs> why would you say that? It's such a weird thing to say. Appreciate y'all. We out of here. Take care, guys. Take care. Hey, man. I hope you look for a new job after tomorrow, my boy. <laughs> Your ass going viral. <laughs> hey, look it up and let them know. I'm almost at a million. Your ass going viral. All right, yeah, so that's, that's what I don't like. You know, they, I don't like everything the manager did, and then there was a business card cop, but um, let's look at the reviews. Let's see what happened here. All right, so they really hit this business hard. This business was, uh, I estimate, they were probably around like four or five stars. Um, we got, uh, let's see here, reviews here. Now they're at 2.5 or 2.4 stars. This is over at cars.com. Uh, this one came in, what's today, the 8th? Yes, this one came in today. Uh, Rodney King, terrible customer service and discriminate. Uh, did they see the video? Like, what what did he discriminate against? Because uh, I don't think he discriminated against, like, color of skin or whatever. Because, you know, I so maybe just that CJ has a lot of money or, like, I, I don't get that comment. But here from YouTube, Dat Salesman, Rodney King needs a, and then that's it. Oh, no, here it is. Uh, needs a beating by those cops he called. Sad straight service. All right, that's not really cool. Um, terrible customer service by management. It's not getting people threatened with violence here. This is uh, by TJ Jones from Macon, Georgia. Uh, terrible customer service by management. Uh, you can't pay, you can't tax 10K in financing for IKEA. It's not Tesla or Benz. Uh, oh, that one, it says by Marty Mar. Now, who knows if he wrote it or if it's, uh, uh, you know, someone else pretending to be him. I don't know what the sign up process is on cars.com. I'm assuming they don't need any sort of like verification that you are who you say you are but that seems like it might be a comment from him because it's not like uh you know it's not like this guy needs a beating or anything it's just uh you know talking about the tax and the financing and everything so i mean hell maybe that's what it was about maybe that's what the argument was about right there because he says again terrible customer service by management you can't tax 10k and financing for a kia it's not a tesla or a benz so maybe that's it says show full review is there more okay it's not really more but uh um yeah, so that's, uh, I, I'm assuming that one probably is by Marty Marr right there. Unprofessional, uh, BLK management, sad we, black, XXX, uh, black folks, or maybe it was like ass or something. Um, I don't, I don't know. It was maybe they put the XXX, maybe that's what cars.com does. Um, you know, uh, can't seem to get along with one another. Doesn't make sense to me. And, uh, salute CJ. So yeah, you can see it just goes on here. People all over the country just goes on. Like, I don't believe in this one bit. I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna do something, you know, like write uh write management or write corporate about this guy Rodney King, if you're putting in a complaint, that's fine. Like you don't like the guy and other people do it. Like I don't really think other people should engage in it at all. But uh, you know, I've been the subject of some negative reviews because people don't like what I say. It's pretty shitty. Uh, they just go in, and leave me negative reviews and everything. It's like, oh, we don't like what this person said on Twitter or this person believes that. I had a friend that uh this is page two here. I had a friend that um you know, she got a bad review and I discovered who gave her a bad review and kind of outed that person for some pretty disgusting criminal behavior that she did in regards to her kid and everything. And she removed the review. Uh, but, you know, it's, um, you know, people just want to come after you for everything. And uh, these people didn't do business with the guy. I mean, these people did the five star ones, it looks like. But um, yeah, so I got a page there, bad reviews. Let's go on and check out uh, a couple other review sites, see what's going on there. All right, so here we are on Facebook. You know, I checked out Google and I didn't really see anything there. So maybe they'll get to that eventually. Who knows? But this is on face, uh, Facebook, Vanguard Kia of Arlington. 5.8 thousand likes, 6,100 followers. And here are the uh, bad reviews. We've got a Lavetta McCall. And these are generally people's real accounts. I mean, I suppose there could be some fake accounts in here too. But uh, horrible service. Do not waste your time or money. Now, this is right after the CJ thing. So I doubt Lavetta McCall actually did business with them. And she's saying that um, same thing here. Goldmouth, uh, Variantos. Oh, so this person recommends. So, I mean, that's actually the way to, well, maybe I shouldn't be teaching this, but that's kind of the way to do it to get your review to stick. Um, challenging. It's harder to get a review off that's uh, where they're recommending you. And look at the, uh, look at the uh, canned response here by Vanguard. So I think Vanguard is probably using either like a chat bot or something or like a review chat bot or I forget what it's called, but you know, some kind of AI because now some of the dealerships and the 
Uh, larger companies are doing that. And actually, some smaller companies are integrating it too. I'm never going to do it because I want to be able to review and respond accordingly. But we appreciate, or it could just be someone out of country that doesn't get it, although I think it's pretty clear. We appreciate your kind words. I doubt this is them being sarcastic. <laughs> like, I, I don't think they're being sarcastic here. I think it's probably just someone that doesn't either understand English or it's like an AI thing with a uh, positive recommendation. Uh, but anyway, yeah, horrible service here, 32 gang. Um, although if that was sarcasm, that's kind of a savage response right there. But uh, Daryl Cash, it was a horrible experience. Don't recommend to anyone. Again, did Daryl Cash do business? I'm assuming not. This guy's out of Florida, so probably not. Uh, Rodney King handled CJ Ron, called the police, he needs to be fired ASAP. Uh, so get that there, you know, and then you got all these responses. It's kind of weird. Um, or maybe, oh, you know what happened? Maybe uh, he edited this or something. I don't know. Uh, but very unprofessional. So, yeah, there you have it. I mean, we keep going through these. But, yeah, that's really weird with the responses here. Maybe it was an edit. Maybe it was just this AI thing, if that's what it was, screwing up. That's kind of weird. Um, it's probably get that under, uh, under control. Uh, this person recommended them three days ago. And I think I saw something here. There was, uh, I don't know, it's, it's not here anymore. But there was something in the comments where um, the person was... Um, it was either on this one or another one, but something in the comments where uh, some of the people were like then downing the reviewer. So um, yeah, anyway. So, uh, you know, just something to remember if you're watching this is like, if you want to write corporate or something, or, you know, I don't know, even recommend the business and uh, put your review down for Rodney King. But when you're doing this, you're hurting everyone else that works at that business because you're not just coming at Rodney King. I mean, the guy was kind of a dick, 100%, but you're not just coming at Rodney King. You're coming at uh, every person that works at that business and giving them a negative review and people might be less likely to shop there. And that's taking food off the plate of uh, other people relying on their commission to make a living. So that's just not really cool. You know, like I, I think I really think CJ should stop that nonsense and put something, you know, put his foot down or just uh, say something like, hey, let's, uh, you know, why don't you write corporate if you want to. You want to support me here in this, uh, but don't, you know, don't be hurting the business. Don't be hurting the other people that work at the business because overall it's hurting the business at the, as a whole and they didn't do anything. I think that'd be cool of CJ to, uh, to say, but I don't know. Let me know. Am I, you agree with my take on this? Disagree? Let me know in the comments what you think. I'll see you guys on the next one.